Hey, hey folks, welcome back. Oh yeah, we are back at the shop, folks. Look what we got going on today. We got this little, little plum, little plum, full size eye. Folks, we, I think she's under three pounds. She is uh, two pounds, 13 and three quarter. And she's a nice, she is a nice little plum head, folks. I got this 28 inch handle, folks. Just about ready to go for her. It's gonna be unique. It's got a little bit of heartwood splashed on there. A little, little ink handle, I'll call her. She's about ready to go. I think she's, uh, I think we can get her slid on here and decide what we're going to do with that handle. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, folks, she's nice. We're talking dead square. This is going to be nice. This is going to be a nice little ax, folks. So, now that we know that she fits, let's get her off. Let's get her off, folks. That's what he said. Boom. Let's see what that wedge looked like. this handle a little bit I've had this handle for a bit and she's dirty so let's sand her down let's get her 220 smooth here real quick This is a white, look how white this handle is, folks. I'm just gonna put a, I'm gonna put a slight burn on her, folks. I think I'm gonna do that, folks, because I think all I'm gonna use is the uh, bushcraft wax. Hey, and if you wanna get some of that bushcraft wax, folks, hit me up. $12 shipped. It's good stuff, folks. Check out my video on that bushcraft wax. I think you'll like it. I think you will like the way it looks on your tools. Let's call her. Let's call her. Put this head on there, folks. We are almost out of winter. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. It was warm today. It was in the 50s. Supposed to get to possibly close to 70 this weekend, folks, which is crazy. It was negative 30 below like last week or the week before last. So. Hells yeah, folks, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Ooh. 
Oh, she's a good size. Oh, can you guys, probably can't even see what the hell I'm doing, can you? I mean, it's got to be a pretty thin wedge, folks. I think I'm going to go right here. I'm going to cut her off the fat side. Oh, folks, remember this one? <laughs> folks, do you remember this one? Oh, my gosh. Folks, I went out and split with this thing today. I put an edge. I put a better edge on it. I sharpened it. And I went out. <laughs> I split. Whoa! Whoa! I split with this four, four ounce, four pound, ten ounce, ten and a half ounce fire axe, folks. This thing. Oh, my God. It's not the craziest splitting profile in the world, but it split like crazy. Oh yeah, it's a nice axe, nice fire axe, folks. That one there's for sale, folks. Are we not? Just. That's what I like about those little Japanese pull saws. Look at that. You can pretty near make toothpicks with this sucker. It's nice. Very nice. Well, let's glue her, slam her in there, folks. She plugged. Boom. Oh, God. Been a while. <laughs> Woo, folks. How we doing? How's everybody doing in there? In the shop. I may got there. Getting ready for spring. Got your got your axes all made this last winter. Tell you what, folks, I made a lot of axes. I sold a lot of axes. I made a lot of axes. Let's see. She's going in this way. Going in like this. She going in like this. Oh, yes, she is. Oh, 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 my gosh. Sometimes, folks, can you see me, folks? Sometimes, folks, they do, everything just works out. Sometimes they just works, it just works out, folks. Let me uh, trim off that top, just a, a smidgen. Jeez, let me clean it up. Man, that's nice. I haven't had one go that nice in a, in a bit. Folks, look what we did. Folks, look what we did. Woo! Man. Now what do I do? I really like the way that, I like the, I like the looks of her. I really like the looks of her. I'm really thinking about just going, just doing the old uh, bushcraft wax again. Folks, if you if you don't if you don't have if you haven't got any of this wax from me, hit me up on the channel. You know, I'll, I'll give you a deal. This stuff is good, folks. A lot of trial and error went into making this stuff. Hit me up on the channel, folks. I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you a discount or something. You gotta try this stuff out. It's good. It's good stuff. I'll give you a deal. And the only thing I ask in return is that you review it. Give me an honest review of it out there somewhere on, on your social media. And 
and uh, yeah, just post about it. Honest opinion about it, what you thought about it. But folks, this isn't just for your handles and for your heads. I mean, this is, I don't know if you watched my other video on it, but go out there and go look at the uh, bush, the bushcraft wax video I made, folks. This, uh, I love it. I mean, I kind of got to like it, right? Uh, but I really, really do. And it doesn't take much. These tins last. These tins last a long time. And come on, bucks! Only come on, folks! Only twelve dollars shipped. Come on, it's just twelve dollars. And I'm I'm doing them all by hand. I'm doing it all by hand, folks. And speaking of hands, you can just rub it into your hands when you're done. When's the last time you did that with BLO, folks? How huh? was the last time you did this with BLO? Huh? Never. BLO one smells like shit. This smells like freaking leather and pine. Uh, won't catch your rags on fire. You can, you can put it on your lips. All you gotta do, folks, you just gotta let it sit here for. You gotta let it sit here for a little bit. You gotta let the oils, some of the oils, soak into the handle. Then you gotta let that, uh, you gotta let the wax, dry, you know, harden up a little bit on there before you buff it. I don't know. I haven't timed it to see what would be the, the perfect amount of time for that to happen, but I don't know, let's sit on there 10 minutes. You know, kind of like when you wax your car, folks. It'll it'll stop getting, it'll stop being so tacky. You know, it's similar, similar but different. Look at there, folks. Looky here. Look at what I found. I got this little, I got this little bluegrass. This is a sharp little head. But I also, folks, got this. Uh, 1933 Sager Chemical Axe. <laughs> 1933, folks. They dated them. That's, I love it. I mean, it's, it's a big head, bigger head. Uh, I also got this uh, True Temper uh, Kelly Perfect, folks, that uh, is on the. Uh... Oh, folks, you want anything else I got this? Maybe, I'll, maybe I should do this next. This brush axe. <laughs> it's missing the strap back here, folks, but it's Rock Island line. Is what it's embossed with. Holy moly, folks, this is a we did folks folks can you see her <laughs> oh she's pretty look at that handle folks you guys want to come take a look at her Woo all right folks all right ladies and gentlemen Oh, here we go. The old plum on a 28 inch handle. Two pounds, 13 ounces, folks. Oh, man. I don't think the light's doing it justice in here, but she's real nice. I left her really nice and I left it nice and light. I usually like it a little darker than that. 90%, but that heartwood popping through there. Well, folks, there she is, folks. She's for sale, folks, if you want her. All right. Thanks a lot, folks. Peace and chicken grease.